Das kann Kohle ist Kusch. Brunagus, er welchele ist Tesch, der Homos ist Point, Gewerk Killele. Gas in Oi Dynamit, Kovron, Lene Van Ann, Agatlesche Glan, Edin, Neve, Derwin, Neil, Donna, Maeve, Agas, Avin. Of course, the biggest tragedy in their lives was the death of their son, Mark. Happened very suddenly, and of course, it was just 10 years before Mark's own death, a yesterday Russia. Of course, the Killele family history and politics goes back, goes back a long time. It's back to 1927 and the foundation of Fiona Foyle. And I'm delighted that my colleague Sean Ha is beside me, a grandson of Sean Amass, because the three families go back to those founding times. I knew Mark very well because we shared a constituency. And Mark had been in politics a long time before I started in politics. And he had been in what was then the Galway East area. And Galway West initially extended to Galway City and Connemara as a three seat constituency. And Mark had represented East Galway very well in the House, having been elected in 77 and been in the Senate before that. But then, as can happen, the review of the constituencies took place and Galway West became a five-seater in a big area stretching from the Clare border right up to the Mayo border. East of the city was added in, making it a five-city. And to say it was com competitive, and competitive within Fiona Foyle would be the understatement of the year. And you had the three elections in 81 and 82. He got elected in 81 and he lost out in 82. And I have to say they were very tough times for politicians. Trying to fund three elections and then finding at the end of the election that you had lost your position as the Tachta Dollar. And he fought the Shannon election, got elected to the Shannon. But I know for all of the politicians that were there at that time, and particularly those who won some and lost some, and lost the latter ones, they were very, very difficult times for the people involved and for their families. And I think we should never forget the challenges that they faced. I fought the 1987, in fact, the only election I fought with, Mark, even though our careers did overlap, in terms of active politics. The only election I fought with Mark was 1987. There were four Fianna Fáil candidates on the ticket, Frank Fahey, Marty Gagan Quinn, Mark and myself, and I came up at the rear in fourth place. But unfortunately for Mark, he came up in third place and Fianna Fáil only got two seats. That was after Bobby Malloy had gone to the PDs. I can remember shortly after the election, there was some rumour going around that Mark McSharry was going to come back into Irish politics. And my memory is, if I'm right, and the Concorla, or the last Concorla can correct me, that there were two people ahead of Mark in the list. The last Concorla himself and Noel Tracy. And that Mark was the third substitute. And as the rumour was swelling round, Mark was asked about Europe. And he said, I've heard nothing, he said. And I don't know whether I'm going to fall into the position. But he said, if I get a call to Europe, he said, you'll hear the pebbles hit off the window of the house as I drive down the drive, I'll be gone so fast. And he had that fantastic turn of phrase for every situation. And other ones have been quoted here today. A fantastic way of relating to the everyday things. And of course, he did go to Europe. And whereas he'd been a very, very successful politician on the national stage, I think that what he achieved in Europe 
Maybe it surprised those who didn't know Mark, but was extraordinary in the impact he made in the European scene. And he was there from 1987 to 1999, and he could have gone on longer if he'd chosen that. And I think one of the great abilities he had was to relate to the ordinary people and to their day-to-day -day problems. He spoke very plain English and he could translate very, very complicated concepts into a way that the listener could understand on a radio programme or a television programme. He didn't speak in hyperbole and he didn't beat about the bush. And I can remember at the time that the agricultural payments were being introduced, how well he was able to explain the changes that were taking place during the McSharry reforms that changed the face of agriculture in Ireland, but particularly in the west of Ireland. Certainly, both within our organisation of Fiona Foyle, but also within politics, in the west of Ireland, he was a legend. I don't know about the story because I wasn't on the council when Mark and John Donnellan were on it. I do know that they did have public rows, but there was always condom on well, or the battles of the, of the deer horn cows that never did any harm to anybody and certainly didn't do any harm to the two protagonists. And the two of them were fairly well met when it came to debate. Far more of you, far grill of you, far cordial of you, far nonine of you, far as a has good dealish go winter hain as go fubble an eater, go fubble a guy back, go fubble an eater free shade. Arian would wing it. I was a noy honic, shale of ash, a rehim vliana. The blue and the shakatia. Then a murder of Megan Tools Covron, then a van, then a clown, then a garclown. A yeshte grow on him.